In this lesson we're going to look at subtracting integers. And I'm going to present two different strategies um, for subtracting integers. Um, this video will focus on one strategy and then there will be another video that gives a, um, a different strategy. Now both strategies uh, rely on the same basic principles, um, but I find that students kind of gravitate toward one or the other, so I want to present both. Um, now what both this strategy and the other one um, really hinge upon is the fact that subtracting a number is the same as adding its opposite. So for example, subtracting 7 is the same as adding negative 7. So a way to think this through is suppose both you and I um, leave our wallets out. Um, and suppose in my wallet um, I have $30 in cash. And uh, and the place I left my wallet, someone walks up and takes the $30 in cash out of my wallet. So in other words, they have subtracted $30 from me. Now suppose your wallet that you left out, someone else walks up and they take your credit card. And they take your credit card and go charge $30 to it. And so the way to kind of think through the situation that just happened to you is that uh, they have added $30 to your debt. Now I think we could agree that both of us are kind of equal victims here. We're both out $30. I had $30 subtracted from me. You had $30 in debt added to you. So in other words, negative 30 was added to you. So you can kind of see here, subtracting 30 is the same as adding negative 30. And so that's the principle we're going to use here. So let's look at 9 minus 15. And so the strategy that we're going to employ is we're going to identify any subtraction sign. And so I have a subtraction sign right here. And I even like to kind of circle it. I think that's helpful. And so our subtraction sign we're going to turn into an addition sign bring that 9 down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the number next to the subtraction sign and I'm going to change it to its opposite. So of course the opposite of neg uh, 15 is negative 15. So you can see here subtracting 15 is the same as adding negative 15. And once we've done that, now we've turned it to an addition problem, and we know how to solve these types of addition problems. The signs are different, so we'll subtract the absolute values. And of course, because the negative's on the bigger absolute value, negative wins, and so our answer is negative 6. Let's move over to this next example. So first of all, in this example, notice we have a negative 5 minus 19. Now this is not a minus sign. This is a negative sign. In order for it to be a minus sign or a subtraction sign, uh, you have to be taking away from something. And there's nothing in front of 5 here to be taking away from. So this is just a negative sign, so we're going to leave that alone. This, however, is a subtraction sign. So the idea is we're going to change the subtraction sign to an addition sign. Leave the negative 5 alone. And then the number next to that subtraction sign gets changed to its opposite. And so the opposite of 19 is negative 19. So now, of course, we're adding two numbers of the same sign. That becomes 24, and since they're both negative, that's a negative 24 is our answer. Right. So in both cases, we were subtracting a positive number, and that turned into adding a negative number. Now in this example, we're subtracting a negative number. And so we can kind of do the same thing here. We're going to circle our subtraction sign. So I have 41 
but I want my subtraction sign to turn into an addition sign. And then the number to the right of that subtraction sign needs to change to its opposite. Well, what is that number? The number to the right is negative 18. So what is the opposite of negative 18? Positive 18. So what we have here is 41 plus 18. And then that's just plain old traditional addition here. So 41 plus 18 gives me 59. So we have subtracting a negative turns into adding a positive. Kind of a practical way you can think of this is um, if I take away from my debt, that's kind of like adding money to my account. Right? Taking away from your debt is like adding money to your account. Um, one other little nice little trick here. Let me just rewrite this, uh, let me just rewrite the problem down here real quick, 41 minus negative 18. One uh, nice little visual that helps people a lot is when you see this minus negative, if you just connect the negatives up, you end up with kind of this warped plus sign, and so that helps you remember that minus a negative becomes just plus a positive. All right, finally here, kind of a similar situation. This is a negative symbol. That's a negative symbol. This is a subtraction symbol. So the subtraction needs to become an addition sign. My negative 17 comes down. And then the number next to the subtraction sign, to the right of it, needs to become its opposite. And what's the opposite of negative 3? It's 3. So negative 17 plus 3, they have different signs, so I know I'm subtracting them. So I get a difference of 14, but of course the answer is negative 14 because uh, the negative is on the bigger absolute value.